Hello, Leo, my awesome lions and lionesses, as I love to call you. Happy weekend to you, Leo. Um, it's Saturday morning where I am. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Uh, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo in their life and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Leo in their life and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey. I feel I need to shuffle more. You know, please show us what's coming up for Leo in their life. And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Leo, what's popping here? You view yourself as single, available, attractive, because you are. Your energy is beautiful. You're not really looking for a new soulmate right now. You're chilling. This is you taking care of yourself, loving yourself, nurturing yourself, concentrating on your pentacles, your finances, your financial independence. Stability is very important to you, as it should be, right? It's so important to be financially independent, stable, not depending on other people, right? To survive, to pay your bills, right? Exactly. Look how beautiful your energy is. You are very loving, nurturing, giving, but you learning not to overgive because some people have taken advantage of you in the past. You learning not to overgive. Yeah, this is you loving yourself, taking care of yourself. Good karma. You have good karma, Leo. Look how beautiful your energy is. Yeah, so you want a solid relationship. You let go of a soulmate. It was a serious relationship. You let them go. You're not really chasing anyone. No, you're not desperate for anyone's attention. You're loving yourself. You're nurturing yourself. Self-love, self-respect showing up here. Beautiful. That's how you're going to attract a, a soulmate of high vibration when you are comfortable being by yourself. When we are scared of being alone, that's when we're going to attract negative persons. So this is you loving yourself, nurturing yourself, truly understanding that you do not need another person to complete you. You are complete on your own. And that is so true. Oh, my goodness. You haven't let go of the soulmate 100% that you let go of. So you let them go physically, but you still, mm, you still care about them. It's okay. You can love them from a distance, right? Uh, if they're still toxic, you cannot let them come back. You know that already. Um, this was a very turbulent relationship that you are letting go of. Yeah, with a lot of craziness, breakups, uh, weird stuff. Uh, my goodness, all of it. You've experienced everything uh, through this turbulent chaotic relationship that became toxic eventually you know please show us hmm but look how you love yourself nurture yourself you see you're not allowing toxic people to return to you you know please show us yeah you have healthy boundaries you learned healthy boundaries you know please show us what's coming up for fabulous leos and how is leo currently doing on their summit journey Wow, Archangel Michael is around you. Beautiful. You are very guarded emotionally. You, you don't want to open up emotionally right now, uh, romantically, because you've been through so much betrayal and, and heartbreak. Yeah, it's hard for you to trust people emotionally at this point. Yeah, your energy is beautiful. Look at this. You're showing up twice as Nine of Pentacles, which is the minor arcana of the Empress energy. You're actually enjoying your freedom from a relationship you're loving yourself you're nurturing yourself that's the way to be that's how you're going to attract a, a, um, a soulmate that is of high vibration which will match your high vibration you see this you're not needy or clingy desperate for a relationship no good for you you have blossomed yeah 
Oh, you feel like you have bad luck with relationships. I think we all have that. <laughs> yeah, this is you feeling like, oh, do I really want to leave my this beautiful garden of peace <laughs> to start a new relationship? This is how you're thinking. You don't want more drama. Oh, boy. The soulmate you're letting go of is uh, stubborn, set in the ways, emperor. Uh, so emperor energy is about control, ego. Um, this person has very hard time communicating, effectively expressing emotions, apologizing, admitting to their mistakes. You're not chasing them, though. No, universe, please show us. You still feel connected with them, though. Yeah, well, yeah, you are. Hello, look at this. Look at this. You see this? Wheel of Fortune, Karma on a Grand Scale, and Hierophant, Marriage. So you, you two were in a serious relationship many lifetimes. Uh, marital commitment. Had families together. Yeah, in those lifetimes. Universe, please show us. Uh, what's coming up for Leo? How is Leo currently doing? So some kind of download of information you're getting from Archangel Michael. Uh, you're not going to uh, be aware on the conscious level uh, what kind of information, but on the subconscious level, your soul, your higher self will recognize that information and be able to use it in your everyday life decision making. Beautiful. What a connection you have with the divine Beautiful. This is you taking care of yourself financially. So finances will improve for you, whether you are investing the right way or using your skills correctly to make uh, more profit. Uh, a lot of you are successful at your own business. You see this? Uh, yeah, success showing up here in business coming up for you. Uh, for those of you that are working for somebody else, you are a pro at what you do. You are needed where you work. Yeah. Look how guarded you are towards your soulmate that you're letting go of. You're showing up here as the most severe queen of all queens, queen of swords. Not only that, you're holding on to five swords. You told them off. Yeah, you told them what time it is. They backstabbed you, though. They betrayed you in a major way, whether they cheated on you, left you for somebody else, lied to you about something major, and you found out about it. You see? Five and two makes a seven of swords betrayal. You feel betrayed by this person in the ultimate way. So it was a serious betrayal. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you see? This is you. You haven't 100% released this person because this is reversed. Um, you still, I think you're still holding on to some kind of energy towards them. <clears throat> Let me see what's going on with this tower over here reversed. It's like you still feel some kind of energy tying the two of you together, even though you're not with them right now. You know, we show us. Um, hmm, like some kind of unfinished business. You know, let's please show us what's coming up for Leo. How is Leo currently doing? Uh, so you have moments where you think you completely let them go and you're moving on with your life. And then you step back and you realize you haven't uh, released them 100%. So you catch yourself not being able to release them 100%, whether it's energetically, emotionally. Yeah, this is you miss them. Yeah, because they have good sides to them too. We all have good and bad, right? Nobody's perfect. You 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 sometimes miss them and the good times the two of you have shared. So some of you have family with this person in this lifetime. You have kids, family together. Yeah. Wow, this is heavy. Look, this is you. You worry too much. You you you. Um, you're hurting still, but you hide that, that heartbreak really well. You hide it well from people around you. People don't know how badly you're hurting inside. Yeah, this is you feeling hurt, betrayed, heartbroken, devastated. Yeah, this is you taking your time to heal. Yeah, you're doing things correctly by not chasing 
to find a new soulmate, you're actually concentrating on yourself to allow yourself to heal emotionally properly, to move on with your life in the right direction, right? Yeah, let's see what's going on with that soulmate you're letting go of, Leo. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo that Leo's letting go of at this time that showed up as stubborn emperor. Universe, please show us. Yeah. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo? A lot of you are letting go of Aries. And how's that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? No, this one. Okay. Oh, they're trying to let you go, disconnect from you emotionally. They realize they lost you. A lot of you, are, yeah, but they still tied to you. Both of you feel tied to each other still. You guys have karma on a grand scale. What does that mean? You agreed to meet each other again in this lifetime to learn lessons from each other. You see this? So no matter what transpires in this lifetime, whether the two of you get back together or not, you're going to see each other again in future lifetimes. Doesn't mean you have to be with them romantically involved. You could choose to be friends, acquaintances, neighbors, coworkers, whatever. Depending on what lessons you want to learn from each other, you will want to make amends with each other in the next lifetime. If you cannot make amends with each other in this lifetime, you're going to meet each other again to be on peaceful grounds, okay? To have positive energy between you two so you don't feel animosity hate, anger, resentment towards each other. <clears throat> they really love you a lot. You see, this person uh, wants to reconnect with you. Ooh, they know you are pissed. They know. So they can say harsh words when they don't get their way. They can be mean when they don't get their way. When they feel their ego was, or pride was hurt. This person has a lot of pride. Yeah, they realize how different you are from others that they've been with. They have a lot of respect for you. They view us very different. So they have history of toxic relationships with toxic people. Yeah, they realize how different you are from others in a positive way. Universe, please show us. Huh. This person has very hard time apologizing, admitting to their mistakes. It can be very stubborn, set in their ways. You must be show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo. They do miss you. They do love you. This is them reminiscing of you, thinking of the good times the two of you had shared. So some of you definitely have family with this person, meaning you have at least one child with this person. Yeah, they also feel that they lost someone of quality value, you, and that you are a catch. They have a lot of respect for you. You're not chasing them. No. See, this is them going within to uh, see clearly the mistakes they've made. They realize they've made some serious mistakes and they want to learn from those mistakes. Wow. They worried you're going to be with somebody else and they're going to find out and it's going to hurt them because they still love you, but they need to move on and you need to move on if you don't want them back. Right? Gosh, my goodness, it's family is showing up here. So that the two of you have some kind of ties still, whether it's through kids or business together, whatever it is, you have some kind of ties with this person still. Yeah. This is them trying to learn from their mistakes, not to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. They have a lot of respect for you. They do. They want so badly to communicate with you. This is unexpected communication. They're very stubborn. Yeah, very much set in their ways. So new soulmate popping up here for you. King of Pentacles, my favorite king of all kings. Yeah. Emperor, this person is very proud. It's hard for them to admit to their mistakes, but they admit them to themselves at least. So that's a start, right? Um, hmm. Universe, please show us what's coming up with this soulmate that Leo is letting go of. Oh, you don't know how badly they want to see you. Look, this person is missing you like crazy. This is them reminiscing of you, missing you, feeling left 
out in the cold, alone. They also have money issues. Yeah, they need to really address their spending habits, uh, balance their checkbook correctly, uh, not overspend frivolously. This person needs to get a hold of their finances, uh, resolve their issues with finances, but uh, debt is showing up here also. Yeah, this is them trying to be more creative to fix their life. Wow, new soulmate popping up here for you again as King of Pentacles. This person wishes you would see them this way, but, you know, uh, they need to act maturely for you to see them this way. They can't just wish and think things are going to happen. I wish a lot of things, but guess what? I will never see them in my life because I'm not putting forward action, right, to to manifest what I want to see. So, yeah. Um, let's see. So, yeah, we want things, but uh, are we going to get them if we put energy into it, right? Be proactive. Yeah. Uh, we need to be proactive, right? We need to put energy into something to see it manifest. We can't just wish it and wait for universe to just drop it onto our lap. It doesn't work that way. We need to manifest things, co-create with the universe, right? Yeah, wishing is an important thing, but we need to take proper steps, actions, right? Yeah. We're going to go into your extended reading, Leo. Uh, obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up twice as King of Pentacles. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, or whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. The King of Pentacles energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships. Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.